Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I surely appreciate your support. Um, like I always say, guys, I build these videos for like-minded folks just like you and I to, to help us all get to the finish line, uh, just get there faster and, and more proficient. Like I said, guys, if this is your first time here, I surely appreciate the support. What we're gonna do today, we are in a spot that I did a little bit of tree work last year. And I uh, didn't get to do all of it because I had some cleanup, you know, after the logging. And uh, last year, by the time I got to this project, it was, you know, late in the season. I didn't get a lot of it done. You always hear this. It's it's kind of a, you know, um, maybe a misused term at some times. And I think there's some confusion on really what it can be. Uh, and the reason for that is, is there's multiple reasons. You know, there's multiple things that this could mean. So today we're going to talk about some edge feathering guys and uh, making that line of travel even more secure. So what we've got today, guys, is like I said, we're going to touch on edge feathering. Now, what we've we've got here um, is a, a stretch of the farm that I've done a done a uh, video on before. That right there is the box blind that I did a video on just not too long ago. Uh, that looks down here in this draw. This is the food plot that I referenced. This long linear food plot that lays here right behind me. So I'm going to turn you around here, guys, and show you this. What we've got. Is a, you can see the tree work that I did last year. This is one of the habitat pockets that I built. Uh, just went in there and kind of looked at what they're doing, and they're bedding on the top side of it up there, and uh, it's just perfect. Great. Right? It was it not far from uh, kind of a habitat pocket anyway, because the canopy was gone in this spot. Hence the reason I chose to do it. I just enhanced it with uh, some of the some of the hardwood that I had to use. Uh, back to the edge feathering here, guys. You can see right here along this edge hence the edge feathering right the habitat pockets we want to be on this side because our stands are on our blind or our stand is our one box blinds there i've got a tree stand up here on the on the point of this on the same side of this line of travel so as we are hunting this on a wind that's coming out of this coming across the transition we are here so the wind is right for us and it's right for him as these you know these bucks are cruising up this this uh, line of travel up this transition what we're doing today guys is as a deer we're gonna we're gonna bring some security down to their their head you know right as us standing here sometimes i think what we do is we look at it and say okay there's a little brush and you know there's some there's some you know cover up above it and you know there's natural screening right there this spot is one of those where there is natural screening because of the the hill um just off the food plot stuff like that right so there's doe bedding right behind me here right up here on the bank uh that i started last year need to you know do more now that the logging's done um but what this is guys i think this is overlooked well, you know as a deer head and even where i'm holding the camera here you know i'm two foot above where this deer's head is going to be when he's traveling through here so last year for example i made this hinge cut right here tip this to the outside uh you know to get that uh, when i was in here kind of get this you know transition effect started through here so there was trees uh, kind of off both sides because i my access is clean so i can i can promote the line of travel on both sides so always remember that if you're if you're worried about your access being you know uh the trees being too close to your access don't hinge cut on your access side but my access comes in from over the top of that hill and that's all screen so that i'm hidden right so i can do this on both sides but what you want to promote more like i said is on the pocket that benefits you because of the wind right good for him good for you the edge feathering though guys is you can see the difference you know i'm two foot above where their head is going to be right now with the camera if i come down here it's just a whole new seclusion cage, right? I mean, it's just a whole new look of, of uh, you know, security cover for them. And that one, you know, because I do hinge cutting low, uh, that is, you know, probably lower than, you know, maybe I could have done on here to get the, a little bit of edge feathering. So today we're going to talk about this. This strip right up through here, guys, as we walk along through here, you can see that it's, it's pretty... Um, you know, it, it's 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 got a little you know uh, density underneath it, but and it you know only gets thicker when the leaves are on. But what this is, guys, is this all this timber along this whole face right here, all the way down through here, is on the south side. That's the south. So all these trees in here are blocking all of the sun that needs to come down into these pockets and also my doe bedding. 
So just because this has, you know, kind of a double sword, right? It's got a double-edged sword. It's got, it's killing my security cover, or it's killing my, uh, my sun. It's blocking the sun when the leaves are on uh, from anything on the north side of it, you know, regenerating, cutting the sun off. And it's also getting so tall that there's no security. What I'm going to gain by doing this is letting the sunlight in and also in a couple of these spots, it's, you know, we're not intentionally doing this, but what's going to happen is it's going to open up some shooting lanes through here for, for the for the box blind, right? So in this situation, guys, does, does every tree have to be done? No, it doesn't. But uh, we, you want that good feathered feeling through here. You want that good soft edge because if these trees are down, then it's going to be thick across the transition. We're going to keep the transition mulched out. The sun's going to go further in on, this, on the north side of the transition here, uh, making this just a real dense line of travel real secure right so this is where the trick comes in hence the hard hat and the chaps and all of this stuff that I have on today recommend doing this with a team but as you know a lot of the stuff that i do here on the farm i do by myself you can do it just be careful what we're doing this is guys is i'm going to hinge cut these trees along through here a little bit higher than normal and why is that? Is the reason for we're not looking for all of the food value that a hinge cut usually gives you, right? What we're looking for is we're looking for the security cover, kind of that screening from the trees, that soft edge, edge feathering screening, right? So there's multiple terms that you could, you know, multiple things that you can, you know, uh, pin edge feathering or, or soft edge for. This one here, guys, we're going to hinge cut them a little bit higher to the outside and just for that reason. Uh, the reason is, is, is we're, we need some more security cover in here. Uh, we need the light to get past it, so we're gaining a couple of things, uh, you know, by doing that. So this is what it looks like before. And then after I'm done here, guys, I'm going to bring you back through here, and we're going to kind of give you a tour of what this looks like all the way down through. And we're going to go right down, you know, most of this. And like I said, it's not going to be every tree because I've got some walnut in here. These are easy access, so, you know, I don't want to kill a, a bunch of my, you know, good walnut in the future. There's no need to do that. All right, guys, uh, 25 minutes with with the saw. It took a little bit longer. I actually made a habitat pocket up here that I've been wanting to do. I took the time to, to start it. I got a bunch of cleanup underneath it to do, and um, there was a bunch of yellow locusts, obvious, or actually, when I started this, more than I, more than I thought there was. So I'm going to take you down through here, guys. Uh, you know what it looked like before? Maybe I'll try to get creative here and put some before and after pictures. Uh, so I'm going to flip you around here and show you. So let's go for a walk. You can see just a little bit of work I did last year on it, guys, making this transition and per these contour lines. And this is the reason I do this. I mean, <laughs> this isn't even, I mean, complete, right? Yeah, so you can only imagine the uh, activity that's on it. So here we go. We went up through. You, you can see what it looked like before. So when I say high hinge cuts, guys, use caution with that. I don't mean, you know, up ladders and in buckets of tractors and anything goofy i was just you know doing a little bit higher than normal for this reason do i do any high high, high hinge cuts when it pertains to bedding absolutely not um so air on the side of caution with that guys like i said this is what the look you want and i'm holding my camera up here you know six and a half feet or so so i'm gonna lower you down as we walk through here and now all these uh, a lot of this was yellow locust i left a walnut down below uh, because it's, um, you know, valuable timber in the, in the future that I can get a hold of without going in and destroying my bedding areas. So now you can see at deer head height here, all of these were, go were on the south side, like I said, guys, and they were all tipped towards the sun anyway. They wanted to grow towards the sun on the edge of the field, which makes this <clears throat> very easy to do because they're already all tipped that way. So, you know, like I said, a lot of us think up here, right? Because this is our world, and you get down here in their world. Now, look at the security that we just gave them. And, but yeah, I mean, so this isn't, you know, we're we're not looking for the uh, food value of that. Remember, guys, you know, to be on the ground. That's why there's, you know, some of these are six, eight foot off the ground. You know, something like that. Maybe they're on top of each other making a canopy. We just want that top, you know, back in there to look, to give it more of a visual block, right? Just to, just to help that out. Um, you know, create that feathered edge or that security blanket, right? So, get up here and 
so right around the corner here guys i'll show you this is where i put in this habitat pocket on this side for that reason is uh you know as they as they travel down through here we want them to be bedded on the right as we're walking up through we want them to be bedded on that side this side over here as he's cruising up through here because our stand one stand location you can see is up there i don't even know if you can see it it's 80 yards ahead of us yet at the peak way up in here and then that box blind so we're hunting them both on them west or them uh, north northeast winds um and all that sense coming out of these this pocket this side over here is pretty much just for security cover right i mean if they bet on this side they do but that's not the side that we're promoting i'm just trying to get this this you know edge now broke down at their level secure on that side it's not a wall you see that it's it's not a you know it's it's not pushed in here with a dozer this is all 45 you know looking back at it this is all uh, 90 90 degrees or 45 off side you know off that's perpendicular to the line of travel and it's hard to see this stuff on video guys and i realize that but boy i guess if you could if you could walk this and feel this it's just if you're ever you know able to to see these and and really i mean like i said this is the transition this is all the sign on it so it goes right up and about up here about 40 yards is our licking branch and then our tree stand so we stopped as you can tell all the hinge cutting stops here yes it's in front of that blind but that blinds 80 yards up here on top of the hill with access in behind it uh and we're you know we're hunting that on a am so these deer won't be in here when we're coming back in so if a window squeaks or you know something like that you're not going to get yourself into trouble so i yeah quit the hinges here because the stand is another uh, you can probably see it way up in the distance in the skyline up there probably eh, probably 60 yards from here so and i could cut these maples down but what happens is guys is uh anything hinged or more brush next to the tree stand or closer to the tree stand you're just asking to get busted so what i'm going to do with these I'm, I will hack and squirt these, and I'll let these stand here. I'll kill them, let these stand here. But you can tell, you know, this got logged last year, but you can tell the difference, guys. Uh, this is just one year of regrowth in here. This looked like a, you know, barren desert before I cut the trees out of here last year, and it's exploded already, and this year it's going to even be even, you know, more thick. So, but I don't want, I definitely don't want this habitat to stop here, you know, short of the stand, so I definitely want to, you know take these out of the uh, sky tube but like that so uh, and because like i said you know 50 75 yards is that hazard zone right that i always stop them at so now we'll walk back through here now you can see guys all of this all this is gone out of the southern sky or blocking uh the sunlight in that's in that southern sky when it's you know you know coming up in the east and setting in the west and it's in that on that southern tier of the sky up here and now all of this will regenerate all the way back into here it's not just going to like it was you can see that whole slope out here is how much it's you know growed up and nasty thick out there but you get in here and there's just little or nothing and it's all because this whole edge down through here was blocking that sun so absolutely no value trees blocking your habitat off with a little ingenuity and a little saw work this is what you get and like I said, if you're down here in deer, deer world, you're all secure now. 45, 90 off the side of the perpendicular to the line of travel. You're not cattle shooting them in here. Habitat pocket on that side. Screening, security screening on this side as far as for the deer. Um, letting all the sunlight in. This one here is going to gonna be pretty neat out of that gun blind and that bow blind at the top of the at the top of the draw here this year guys so i hope this one makes sense um and why i'm doing this uh i appreciate you guys support and tuning in and um we're you know we're strong into the habitat season here and i've got a just happened to be home for two or three days here right before a project here just local um so i'm out here just like everybody you know trying to get this stuff done so i appreciate you guys sure means a lot and uh if you got any questions feel free to reach out drop me an email or phone phone call or something and i'll try to get back to you as quick as i can but uh 
this is why we do this guys is to keep them secure and promote that line of travel so it's not always about the habitat pockets on the right side right it's about letting the sunlight in so you you know those you know trees that you do hinge cut on those habitat uh in those habitat pockets <clears throat> on the right side of the line of travel you know actually grow <clears throat> they don't uh, get choked off by the sunlight and die anyway right so like i said this habitat pocket that i got right up here behind me guys you know you can see that there's a uh that hickory there i i laid that on top of that kind of smashed that down a little bit and then i'm going to go through and clean up a bunch of that uh, it's just a little bit too thick for me, but that's the habitat pocket side. Now up here at the top, you can look back down through it and, and, and go from there. So appreciate you tuning in, guys. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one here.